Good morning everybody, it's me again, Crazy Mag Lady. I just want to say, look, we have a little bit of sunshine. That blob there, look, woo, sunshine. <laughs> um, and it's really strange because lovely Gloria, one of my lovely subscribers sent me a message saying, I hope you get some sunshine today. I'm going to send you some from across the world. So uh, Gloria, it worked, we have sunshine. The world's cutest face. <laughs> I'm the weirdest noises ever. <laughs> Here I am. So I'm all dressed up again. Poor the ruby in the background. So are you just a tiny bit better? A bit. Anyway, so this morning I'm all dressed up again. I'm not going anywhere at all. But I've got, let me show you, I've got sparkly, orangey lip, uh, lip eyeshadow on. I've got big heart hoop earrings. I've done my hair in a little mini bun. And I've even got a diamond necklace on. I don't know why. I've no idea why. I just got up and put these random things on. Oh, when the sun hits it or when the lights hit it, it really shines. It's so pretty. Um, and that's it. So that's me. Good morning. Oh, and I've got left print jumper on with yellow bits on. <laughs> and I've put my lipstick on. So today I've got another lipstick that was in the drawer. This is I Heart Revolution in Fire Breathing. It's a bit dark. It's a bit dark. Ooh. I'm not sure if I like this one. I like the Rimmel one because it's more of a burgundy sort of colour, whereas this is like, it's very dark, isn't it? I don't know. I suppose it matches my hair a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, we're not going anywhere. So it's been fun to test out different lipsticks because it doesn't matter because I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, so lipstick of the day. We're doing a bit of fire breathing. Ooh. So I don't know what we're doing today. Obviously we're not going anywhere. I was going to go take the dogs for a walk but it looks really cold outside so I might nip them around the block. I'm not sure. Um, I want to do some sewing as well. Uh, my mother-in-law was asking me yesterday about um, iPad stands. I used to make little iPad stands and I've not made any for ages so I might have a go at that or I might make one of my little cute mice or I don't know but I really fancied being a bit creative rather than just staying in and doing housework because I've done so much housework the last few days I thought it'd be nice to do a bit of sewing instead so we might do a bit of sewing. Oh wow now I do feel old. There's me and my hubby when we first met. We were so young. Oh dear. Right I found my little pattern for my iPad stand so I'm gonna have a go at making it in a minute but I just got to show you found some old photos and there's one of my old cars. Oh, I had a little pink Fiat 500. Oh, it was so cute. And these are some of the photos of when we first moved into our house. It was a wreck, a complete wreck. So we have done it all up. So there was my bathroom. So it had a shower cubicle. It didn't have a bath. Um, and as you can see, this shower cubicle was a bit horrible. And then it had this weird orange floor. It wasn't very nice. So obviously you've seen what it's like now because I've just decorated it again, but yeah, that's what it was like when we moved in. It had all bare pipes and everything and it was awful. So we've done a lot of hard work to it to make it look like it does today. And that was my garden. As you know it now, it's really pretty and so we've got nice shapes and stuff. But when I first moved in, it was just a patch of grass. So it just shows what you can achieve with a bit of hard work. Aww, there's my car. That's a better picture. So there was my car when I first got it. And then there was my other old car. That was my first pink car. And I loved it so much. Look at James and Ruby. Look at me. Oh, Ruby was only tiny. Aren't they cute? Look at little James, bless him. Oh, I was very sad that day because that was the day I sold it and it broke my heart to sell that car. But then I replaced it with this one. <laughs> I did like my pink cars. Right, it's nearly quarter past 11. So I've nipped downstairs to make myself a quick coffee. Um, and then I'm gonna go back upstairs and tackle the iPad stand. Are we ready? Let's go sewing room. So I'm gonna use this material. And here's my little pattern that I copied off. 
but I can't really remember how to do it. So I'm really, really gonna have to think which way to sew it. This is totally gonna fry my head. So I need to concentrate. All right, done it wrong already. So I've stitched a bit that I shouldn't have stitched. So I've now got to unpick it. Oh, why is sewing sometimes so hard? So let's get unpicking. Fingers crossed I've done it right this time. <laughs> it's coming together. Fingers crossed, I hope. Ta-da! I've finished it. So there it is. So you get your iPad. My iPad's very old and very battered. But you just literally just lean it up. And there you go. It holds your iPad. I need a new iPad case, don't I? My iPad case is disgusting. So you can have it either way around. Because obviously I've put like a piece of cardboard in here. So... It stops it from slipping. So you just lean it up. There we go. Ta da! Ruby's testing it out. She thinks it's all right. <laughs> Very useful for when you're in bed. So lovely, you make another one. So I'm just in the process of making another one now. I like them, they're good. iPad stand number two done. Ta da! So this one's in like a uh, gingham chair and I put a little button on it as well. It was quite cute quite heavy because they've got rice in so it helps them to sort of balance and then you can just prop your iPad up like so Ta -da! got to love it when you open your dishwasher and realize that all last night's dirty pots are still in there and I did put my dishwasher on last night but for some reason it's not worked oh so I've just opened it it's full of dirty pots I thought really so anyway I've just put it on so we won't be able to empty my dishwasher for a while but never mind I'm not washing all them pots the dishwasher can do it so i'll wait for the dishwasher right the dpd driver's bin i'm very excited because this is my little prize for my giveaway or one of the little prizes so excited so it's come from the megan Charles. it says hi jane can't wait to see what your winners think of our cute trinket trays lots of love the handbag angels team oh so they've sent it in this gorgeous little box with the handbag angels little sticker on there and then she said they were going to put two in so that we've got one all wrapped up to show how beautifully they pack their products and the other one is just loose ready to go so they've sent me these little trinket trays so what they do you put them on your dressing table or near your bedside cabinet or anything and you can put loose change jewelry anything you want in them and they're just so lovely and then this one is exactly the same but this one's wrapped up ready so this one will obviously be like the top prize but oh it's just so lovely look how nice they make they just make such lovely little presents so they put all the little hamburg angel tags on them and it's just so nice so what i'll do um i'll pop their website down below as well and they're all handmade in england um their website is www.handbagangels.co.uk um and then they've got an um, email as well info at handbagangels.co.uk so i'll pop their address uh, the website and stuff down below so that if you want to have a look at what they do they make handbag liners um little bits of felt and stuff that you can put inside your handbags it's just so lovely i've got a couple of their liners and i love them so much i do use them all the time so that's one of my prizes for a giveaway i'm very excited so just pop that with me other bits and bobs there's my little dinner so i've got seafood sticks little tomatoes mackerel and olive oil can't actually believe we've got to dinner time already so there it is Postman's just been and I've got my little glossy box again. I didn't mean to order the glossy box again. I thought when I signed up, I'd only signed up for one month, but unless you actually cancel it, they keep renewing it. So I've now got another glossy box, which I didn't really want, but I thought, oh, I'll let it carry on this month and then I'll perhaps get the Christmas one and then I'll cancel it. So I've got a glossy box to open, yay. And I'm really cold because I've been sat sewing and then I've just sat and eaten my dinner and I thought, oh, I'm freezing. So I think I need to bob round a bit before I open it to warm myself up. I'm still cold. <laughs> I did as much jumping around as I could and I'm still cold. I 
oh no the sunshine didn't last it's raining again oh so many poor people have been flooded um not far from us we've had mudslides oh god it's just awful so and it's blooming raining again and then i'm gonna make one more of my little ipad sands i'm gonna make a gray velvet one for my mother-in-law um for her sister um because it's her birthday soon so it's lovely gray looks black on here but it's not it's like a dark gray velvet so i've never done a velvet one so we'll see what it turns out like and i'm also waiting for my tesco food shopping coming so we'll probably get interrupted at some point my food shopping's arrived so i've got to get it all packed up Right, that's all my food shopping done. So now I've got to drag it all into the kitchen. Let's get my muscles going. Woo, in we go. And then I've got to get it all put away and then I can try and finish my iPad stand. Loads of food. They actually said to me that I'd ordered rather a lot of food, but I think it's just normal, but I don't know. They thought I'd, I'd got rather a lot for four of us. in my zone room again so let's try and get this finished grey velvet one done i've even put a little diamond on the top and a little diamond button in the middle this feels nice as well so i think this would be lovely to put your ipad on because it just feels so soft maybe i need a fluffy one for myself it's 10 to 3 so normally i'd be kind of getting ready to go on school room obviously i've got no school room because i've still got a little ruby poorly so i'm just gonna ring my mum make sure she's all right and i feel a bit but then I think sometimes when you've been with a poorly person for over a week, it starts to make you feel poorly. So I'm sure I'm fine, but I do feel a bit croaky. <laughs> the germs are getting me help. <laughs> right, I've got a spare uh, bit of time. So I thought, right, I'm not going to waste my day again. So I'm up on my chair, I'm high up. Woo! And um, I'm busy polishing my chandelier. I thought I'd give it a good old clean and let it really sparkle. Oh, and I've just pulled a diamond off. Woo! I didn't want to do that <laughs> oh no so now i need to fix it now i've just broke my chandelier right let's put the diamond back on oh dear sorry diamond tempt ruby to eat so i'm trying to rustle up a poached egg that's what she fancied with some soldiers to dunk in it so busy cooking so i'm doing myself a couple of boiled eggs to go with my ham toasters and then obviously the poached egg for ruby oh that looks very appetizing even if i do say so myself just right for your little soldiers to dunk in it looks yummy there's my little tea so i've got ham toasters lots of salad and a couple of boiled eggs so off to enjoy my tea nice I just walked past my chandelier and thought, gosh, that's sparkly. And then I remembered I'd cleaned it. I didn't quite finish it because I had to get James's tea ready. So I've sparkled most of it, but not quite. But look how much it shines already. It's so pretty. I love this chandelier so much. Right, I'm going to open my glossy box. So this is the second glossy box that I've had. Uh, what did you think of the first one, Ruby? It was good, but I think it was a bit random because it had a hot chocolate in I think they do have to like that in and then. It's supposed to be. Right. Are we ready? Get off! The dog's licking my leg. Right, okay, so you get a lovely little pink box again. Looks the same as last time, doesn't it? Right, was let's it? hope it's not the same. Was it pink? I thought it was like orange. No, it's pink. Right. Okay. Mm. That looks nice. Stop licking my leg. What's it say? It says winter warmers on it. Glossy box winter warmers. My really so, good. Let's open the tissue paper. Dun, 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 dun. And inside, what have we got? Okay, do I lift something up? Yes. What's that? Skin cleanser. We've got some skin cleanser, some coconut oil, nourish and shine hair oil. Black tea. Is it a face mask? I don't know. I don't know either. It says brighten up for Black tea. No, it's proper tea, I think. Um, and then there's fruit tea as well. Oh. Fancy tea. Um, oh, well, I like the sound of that black tea. <laughs> right, what's that then? Winter mask. Leave me your winter mask. So it's face mask. Yeah. And then you've got some soothing hand balm. Mm. Have a look at the mud mask. 
And then the last thing is a full size. I can't even it's full size, isn't it? What is it? I don't know. Cosmetics pre glow up mist. Get your skin glow ready. Oh, so you just spray it on I think when you've done your makeup, don't you? Spray the mist before or after makeup or on its own for refreshed and glowing skin. Mmm, that sounds good, doesn't that it? That might be good for my skin. Mm. So what do you think? Looks good? Apart yeah. from black tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far I've tested the hand cream. It smells absolutely delightful. Honestly, it smells so nice. My hands are so soft. And then I've opened up the like shimmery stuff. So I've shook it all up. Ruby says this is really lovely to watch. It's all like whirly look. Mm. Right, after my husband rudely interrupted me. So we've got this swirly stuff. So I'm gonna spray a bit on my arm. Right, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So it's supposed to be like shimmery. Can't see much shimmer going off, but you probably have to go somewhere where there's like lights and stuff. So I bet it will work. It smells quite nice as well. So you can spray it on before or after makeup or just all over you to make you glowy. Nice. Right, we did. Final little vlog of the day. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we've been in again. <laughs> Haven't even been on me out into the bin. <laughs> I've not left the house at all. So thanks for joining me anyway, my dears. So if you do enjoy life in England, mm, poorly people, um, handbags and shopping when we do get to go shopping, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you and I'll speak to you tomorrow.